Hey, this is Matt from TPSTool.com with a brief overview of what you get in the package when you buy a TPSTool.com uh, professional throttle position sensor setting tool and a brief overview of how to use it as well. First thing you get in the box is the instructions. The very most important thing in the instructions is my email address, the very first sentence. If you get stuck, if none of this makes sense to you, send me an email and I'll help you out. Uh, the next most important thing after reading these is to check out the videos on our website. We have some very detailed instructional videos showing how to use the tool and we use it on various motors and that's going to be a really good reference for you. Uh, next thing in the box, of course, is the TPSTool.com Pro Powered Meter itself. We also include an Energizer industrial battery. It's a professional level tool, so we include, of course, the top quality of everything we can. You're going to get a variety of adapters, and depending on which kit you buy, some kits include all the adapters, some have only a few. If you have questions about which adapters you need, send me an email and I'll help you out. So I'll show you how to get started here, and we'll uh, set the throttle position sensor on a couple of parts here. First thing you're going to do is pop the back off the meter, put the battery in, just like any battery-powered device you might buy. There we go. Put the cover back on. This goes back in the rubber boot. There we go. We're set. So on the top of the meter, you notice there are three plugs. Uh, one is for ground. One is FB. That's for feedback. And one says 5 volts. Um, this is how we communicate with the sensor. We send the sensor 5 volts and we receive back the feedback signal, which tells us the position of the throttle. And that's what we're going to be setting. So let's uh, jump into the first example. Okay, what I've got for you here first, this is a throttle body out of a KTM 350SX. Uh, this is going to be typical of most modern dirt bikes, um, so this is going to be a good example. Just give you a very brief overview. This one uses the Model 2 sensor. So you're going to come over here, find your throttle position sensor, which is always going to be right on the side of the throttle body. Okay, there's a shaft that goes through the throttle plate, and when the throttle plate turns, that shaft rotates the sensor. So that there's, it's always going to be on the side of the throttle body. So first thing you do, Plug in your adapter, come over here to your TPS meter. So on KTMs and most uh, dirt bikes, what you're going to do is start here with the black wire into ground, G and D. Red goes into FB or feedback, and green goes into 5 volts. Just that simple. Turn the meter on, there's your reading, 0.52. Okay? And now if you want to check the throttle position sensor itself to make sure it's functioning properly, watch the voltage as I open the throttle position here so you can see it. As I open the throttle, the voltage will increase steadily with no jumps or gaps. If there's a jump, like if it jumps and drops back to zero or anything like that, then there's a problem with the sensor itself, meaning that you need to replace the sensor. If it's smooth, sensor's good, you just might need an adjustment. To adjust the throttle position sensor, they're going to have a screw, some have two screws, and all you're going to do is loosen the screw. Notice this one says 0.52. If I give that, whoops, loosen that screw up, you rotate the sensor, notice I'm rotating it back and forth, and that sets the value. Now we've got a very uh, specific video for this one that shows you exactly how to do it, so I'm not going to go through setting the actual value. That video is on our website. I'm going to show you a different uh, throttle position sensor off a different motor. Okay, this was dirt bikes are very similar to this one. Next I'm going to show you a Polaris ATV. Okay, this is a throttle body from a Polaris Sportsman 570. The 450 uses the same throttle body. Those are both very popular. Um, this one I think is 2014 to 2020, maybe 2021 model year as well. The Rangers are the same. Very good example for Polaris. This one has a different plug. This one uses the Model 4 adapter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just plug this in. Snaps right on. Now with a lot of the Polaris motors, uh, their throttle position sensor is wired a little different. So what you're gonna do over here is we are going to put the ground, the green, into ground, red into feedback, and black into 5 volt. Now, if you if you plug this in, you get a, a value that you're really not expecting. You've probably got the wires in the wrong position. You didn't hurt anything. Don't worry. Move them around. Again, send me an email to help you out or check out our website. And uh, it's got some videos to help you out. Turn the meter on. 0.69. There you go. Same thing. If you want to check the... Uh, Check the function of the throttle position sensor itself. Open it and close it smoothly. Voltage changes smoothly. Sensor is working properly. This one has two screws. If you want to adjust the position sensor on this, this is one of the two screw models. So you'd loosen both screws in this case, and you would rotate the sensor to set the voltage. 
Okay, and now anytime you tighten the screws down, it's going to move a little bit on your real motor. You take a few minutes to get it precise. But again, that's how it works on Polaris. Most of the Polarises are wired this way. Uh, this is from an ATV, again, a Sportsman 570. And so let me show you now a snowmobile that has a four pin throttle position sensor. So this one aside. All right, and the next one I'm going to show you is a uh, snowmobile. This is off of an Arctic Cat M8, I think the F8 also, probably some others. Um, this is a four pin throttle position sensor, not a three pin. And in this case, we don't have an exact fit adapter, so I'm going to show you how to use the universal adapter. The universal adapter actually has uh, individual little plugs that plug into each of the individual pins so that you can use it even on throttle position sensors that we don't have an exact fit plug for. So on this particular one, we're going to use, notice there's four pins in here, so if I get to focus. We're going to use the, the rightmost two, we're going to skip one, and then use the leftmost one. So the way we start out here is the farmost to the right. I'm going to try and do this through the camera, so please bear with me. Uh, the far rightmost one, green. The one beside that gets red. If I can see what I'm doing, this is hard to do through the camera. You really can't see that well. There we go. And then the far left one is the ground black, so this is how we've wired it. Let's see if I can get a clear view there for you. Um, we're using those three and skipping that one. And then on the meter itself, similar. We're going to put uh, the green into the five volts. It's a five volt supply. Red goes into FBR feedback. And black goes into ground, so that's how we've got it wired on the meter itself. Turn the meter on. There's your reading. Now, if you get uh, 5 volts on this, 4.9, whatever, you've probably got two pins touching over here. No problem. You just jiggle it. Um, if you get a reading that you're expecting, 6.9, again, to test the throttle position sensor, as you open the throttle, change it smoothly, close the throttle, change it smoothly. Same thing if you want to make an adjustment. You loosen the two screws here, twist the throttle position sensor, make your adjustment. There you go. So that's a, a brief overview of what comes in the package when you buy the tpstool.com meter. Um, if you have questions, please email me. Uh, you can contact me. If you're on Amazon, you can go through Contact Seller, or you can go to tpstool.com. My email address is at the very top of the frequently asked questions. Questions are wonderful. If you have any questions at all, email me. I will help you out. Um, and I hope this helps give you a quick overview of what's in the package. Thank you very much.